What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Movie Race. The third and final installment of the 365 Day series will premiere sooner than expected. From the release date to cast members coming back and even some shocking plot details, here's everything you need to know about the last part of the franchise. Release date The sequel to 365 Days is finally here, with some new cast additions, surprising plot twists, and of course, Anna Maria Sakluka and Michelle Marone back as Laura and Massimo, respectively. Despite having some of the worst reviews in the history of cinema, the film is currently in the top 10 most watched film list on Netflix. Some fans think that there is a lot of unnecessary songs, others don't mind it. Some claim the dialogue was super lame, others think that there was nothing wrong with it. One thing all fans agree with is that the film had a really bad ending. The ending was not that bad as it was confusing. Thankfully, 365 Days 3 has been confirmed by the streaming giant, so we'll find out more about what cliffhangers soon. Back in 2020, during the peak of the pandemic, the first 365 Days film came out. And it took the world by storm. Shortly after the premiere, the film reached an incredible success. So Netflix confirmed two sequels for 365 Days, with the sequel arriving on April 27th. After all, sequels, prequels, threequels, and reboots prevail nowadays. If a film is successful enough, a sequel is guaranteed. That's the rule. Anyways, the entire entire cast came back for the much anticipated continuation and we'll see them again in third installment. But we don't think a lot of fans would enjoy this next installment. There are a lot of twists after the 365 days the day's ending, but we'll talk about that a bit later on in the video. Now, back to the release date. Netflix is yet to confirm the exact date the third and final film will premiere, but what we do know is that the second and third movies were filmed back to back from May to June 2021. Filming is already wrapped up, meaning that we'll see the movie later this year on Netflix. In an official announcement, Netflix said that they're slated for release on Netflix globally in 2022. Our guess is that the film will come out sometime in December this year, hopefully. Now, let's see if Nacho is set to return in the next installment. It's so nice here. It's my father's house cast. Shortly after the premiere of the sequel, it was confirmed that Anna Marie Sikluka and Michelle Marone will be back for the third installment. Just like the case with the first film, this one also ends on a cliffhanger, making Laura's future quite uncertain. Now that the actress is confirmed to come back and reprise her role, we know that she survives the attack. Will Marone come back as Massimo's twin brother, Adriano? Well, we don't know, but if he survived the attack at the end of the sequel, we might as well see him again. Simone Susana, who plays Nacho is confirmed to appear in the next part, with Magdalena Lamparska and Otar Sardeliz as Laura's best friend Olga and Massimo's right hand Dominico. Olga and Dominico get engaged in the sequel, so fans expect them to be married in the final film of the franchise. Hopefully, their happily ever after will be better than the one Massimo and Laura had. Before we continue with some shocking plot details, make sure you smash that like button if you haven't done it already. Plot The plot of the first film followed the events of Blanka Lempinska's novel 365 Dni, and the film sequel is based on the novel This Day. The third film will be based on her third novel titled The Next 365 Days. Considering the end of the sequel, the third installment is likely to continue right after Laura's attack, and since we know she survives, she will have to tell Massimo how she lost the baby. Thankfully, there's a novel synopsis for the next 365 days available. As the wife of Don Massimo, Tori Sally, one of the most dangerous mafia bosses in Sicily, Laura's life is a roller coaster. She is often at risk, the potential target of Massimo's and Scorpio's enemies who will stop at nothing to destroy the powerful man. And when Laura is seriously injured in an attack, pregnant and fighting to survive, Massimo faces the toughest decision of his life. What will his life be without Laura? Will he be able to raise their child alone? What will the fate of his family be in whose 365 days may come to a close? The 
synopsis includes the events of the sequel with one confusing storyline. Is Laura pregnant? Didn't she lose the baby? What if she carries Nacho's baby? Fans who have read the third novel share the same opinion. They all hate it. We'll get into the plot of the novel a bit later, but we need you to keep in mind that we still don't know if Netflix will stay loyal to the source material, and fans hope they'll see an original story rather than the one following in the events of the third novel. English speakers will be able to read the next 365 days in September 2022. Character Development Since there are a lot of negative reviews about the sequel, we decided to go through some things that caused these reviews. Let's start off with the music in the film. Perhaps the next one could use fewer songs and more dialogue? What do you guys think? Because of the many songs, the plot of the sequel was a bit confusing. There were some plot holes and some of the events didn't make sense. Thankfully, the next film is filmed in Sicily as well, so expect to see a lot more of the beautiful scenery. Now let's talk about the fan favorite couple. Laura sees Massimo's twin brother with Massimo's ex, thinking that this is her husband and she runs away with Nacho. They spend some time together and she falls for him while saying that she misses her husband. This seems to show that all of the characters in the film act like teenagers. Laura's actions are a bit confusing and we really hope the next film will show some character development not only in Laura but in Massimo and Nacho as well. If we're being honest, seeing Laura with Nacho made much more sense than her relationship with Massimo, which only brings us to shocking plot details. Titled The Next 365 Days, the third and final installment continues right after the events of the second film, with Massimo trying to keep his loved one alive. He, however, has to choose between keeping her alive or saving their unborn child. He ends up choosing her, but Laura never finds out about this. She believes she lost her child naturally instead. A bit later in the novel, it's revealed that she suffers from alcohol addiction. She doesn't get the attention she needs from Massimo and they decide to solve this issue by adopting a pet dog named Prada. But Massimo also develops an addiction, a drug addiction. Because of this, his wife believes she's better off him and who does she go for? Nacho. That's right. The love triangle becomes really complicated once Massimo decides to get revenge on her. His revenge plan? He kills Prada and sends a lifeless dog to his ex in a package. When his ex asks if he did that or not, he denies it and blames Nacho. Anyways, Massimo and Laura see each other at Olga and Dominico's wedding, with Massimo showing up with another girl. This drives Laura crazy and she decides to go back with him. But once she discovers that he's a selfish jerk who killed her dog and did many other awful things, she again decides to go back with Nacho. Isn't it better for her to find some other guy, someone who's not a mafia boss or something like that? Anyway, the novel ends with Nacho and Laura getting married, living their happily ever after, and expecting their first child together. We believe this is how the film will conclude simply because of the fact that Laura was happier with Nacho than with the mafia boss. Then again, we still don't know how much of these storylines will be utilized in the plot of the third installment. Do you guys wish for Netflix to stay loyal to the plot of the novel? Would you rather see a story that goes in a different direction? Who do you prefer Laura to end up with, Nacho or Massimo? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed our video, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. As always, thanks for watching.